Hi band and welcome back to another video about gear, more specifically about what you need as a beginning guitar player. So if you've just gotten your first instrument and are wondering what else you need, or if you're looking for gift ideas for anyone close to you, we have a few tips for you. First of all, you'll of course need an instrument. And if you don't have one yet, we have a video about that where we compare different kinds of guitars against each other. I have a steel stringed acoustic right here, which is usually a very good starting point for any beginning guitar player. By the way, if you're buying a guitar and you want some recommendations, go ahead and read our blog post about it, which you can find the link to in our description. The first thing you'll need, besides the guitar of course, is a tuner. I would say that is the most important thing, because if your guitar is not in tune, it's not gonna sound good. For tuners, there's lots of different options available, or everything from physical tuner pedals where you plug your guitar, to clip-ons that go, you can clip it on the headstock of your guitar. They actually read the vibrations of the instrument and that way know uh, if the strings are in tune or not. Or the easiest way to get started is simply to go to the app store of your phone and download our tuning app called Guitar Tuna, which happens to be the most popular tuning app in the world. If you're wondering about how to tune a guitar, you can go ahead and check out our separate video about that, where we go through the whole process of tuning your instrument. The next important thing on our list is a spare set of strings. Because the fact is that strings break, it happens, it's normal, and it's quite annoying to break a string and be like, I have to wait for a week to get a new one. So the only thing though, when you're buying strings for a guitar, remember to check that they are the right kind of strings. So if you have a steel stringed acoustic guitar or an electric or a nylon string acoustic guitar, they all need different kinds of strings. And again, if you're wondering about how to change strings on your guitar, you can go and check out our video about that. Okay, now that you have your instrument and a tuner to tune it with and some spare strings for the guitar, let's talk about picks. A pick is this kind of a little plastic thingy that you play the strings with. You can of course play without it as well with just your fingers, which gives you a nice softer sound. But if you play with a pick, the sound will be louder and brighter. For picks, there's a lot of different options available, as always. So even the most common ones are the plastic ones. There's also picks made out of wood and metal and, I don't know, probably a lot more. Uh, so you just have to find the ones that you like. Also, there's a lot of different thicknesses available. Quite often, players prefer a thinner pick when you're just strumming or playing the chords. But if you need more accuracy for playing, for instance, solos, melodies or arpeggios, go for a thicker pick. But actually, the best option is just to get a bunch of different kinds of picks because it's also very easy to lose them. So if you have a lot of options, you can also, you know, test and try them out and, and you'll find the ones that you like. Let's move to another quite important tool that is very handy for every guitar player, which is a capo. A capo is this kind of a little device that allows you to easily transpose the song, as in change the key of the song. If, for example, you've gone through all the trouble of learning a song, and then a singer walks up to you and is like, the song is too low for me, can we sing it higher? That's me, by the way. Guilty. So then, you can actually just say that, yeah, sure, no problem, I have a capo, just clip it in, and keep playing the same chord shapes higher. All right, so far the things that we've gone through have been more about the actual playing of guitar, but now let's go through just a couple more accessories that will make your life more convenient and also protect the instrument. One thing that I would highly recommend you to get is a guitar stand, because every player knows the feeling when you've left your guitar somewhere, just leaning against a chair or a table or whatever, you get up and go open the door for your friend and then you hear this... <coughs> I've done that a couple times, <laughs> but I can assure you it's not a fun feeling. Having a proper stand for your guitar where you can leave it safely is a good idea. There's all different kinds of stands as well. I mean, by now we've learned that there's always options. Uh, but you can either have one that just stands on the floor, or if you want to have your guitar on the wall, that's possible too. Also, once again, double check that you're getting the right kind of a stand for your guitar, because for instance, acoustic guitars need a stand with a wider platform because they're thicker 
and electric guitars are slimmer, so they have a little bit of a different shape for the stand as well. Then if you're ever planning to travel with your guitar or take it out of the house in any occasion, get a case for it. Or a gig bag. There's different kinds of bags for guitars. There's soft bags and hard cases. If you just want something that's easy to carry around, get a soft bag. But if you know that you're gonna travel with it more and pack it into a car with a bunch of other stuff, it's better to get a hard case. Plus there's all kinds of options like there in between. Personally, I keep my guitar in the case also in the house because what the case does is it protects the guitar from things like temperature changes or changes in humidity. If you, for instance, live in an area where the air humidity keeps going back and forth a lot, like here in Finland, it's very important to protect the guitar from that as well. Then if you're ever going to play your guitar while standing up, you'll definitely need a strap. And with a strap, I would say get yourself some strap blocks. I'll show you them on my bass, just a second. So in every guitar, there should be this kind of a little strap button where you can just slip the strap on. But it's very common that right in the middle of playing, the strap slips off and the guitar hits the ground and it might even break it. A strap lock is a very important thing to prevent that. I have these special kinds of buttons installed in my bass, which basically you just, you know, change the original one and screw the new one on. And it has this kind of a little mechanical lock that you put in the strap and it locks on the button. If you have an acoustic guitar or you don't want to change the original buttons of your guitar, you can just get this uh, other kind of strap lock that hooks on any button. Last but not least, if you're planning to get an electric guitar, here's a couple more things that you will need. So first of all, you'll need an amplifier because electric guitars are very quiet on their own. So you need something to amplify the sound with. And of course, a cable to plug it in to the amplifier with. Regarding the cables, I would say here it's worth the money to invest in a higher quality cable. Because cheap cables, they break easily. Uh, but if you get a good one and you treat it well, it will last you for years. So let's recap everything that we've gone through. First of all, the guitar, of course. Then you need a tuner to tune it, a spare set of strings, a bunch of different kinds of picks to try out and choose from. A capo so you can easily transpose a song, a stand for your guitar, a gig bag or a case for carrying it around safely, and a guitar strap if you're ever gonna play while standing up. Plus for electric guitars you'll need a cable and an amplifier to plug it into. And once you have all of this and you want to learn more about the actual playing of the guitar, head out to the App Store, download Musician and have fun! That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and I'll see you again in the next video.